Uh, thank you very much. I'm Abala Wanga, the city manager. Uh, this was uh, a very successful uh, beginning of the Kisumu City Tourism Week. We dubbed it the Kisumu City Run. Kisumu City, my pride. Uh, we did this uh, for local tourism promotion and uh, placing Kisumu City in the map to show that we have the streets and the corridor where run can take place. And we are trying to also to expose our beautification system, how we have beautified the city, and how we have uh, tried to organize the city infrastructure. The city infrastructure is now well established, where the geospatial plan, which we are launching very soon, which has given a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, incentives uh, to the investors. We want to investors to come in affordable housing, we, we, are, we are turning Kisumu to face the lake and we are planning to do a one, a, at least a 17 kilometer promenade from Donga Point to, from Donga Point to crossing to Impala Club. Uh, so you, you will see us separating the water and the walkway, well paved walkway and the, the biking then, the lunch terraces. So the next run will be next to the lake. We are also organizing Kisumu to have one of the best industrial parks. So we are improving the industrial park is coming and the industrial area, we separate between the industrial park and industrial area. Industrial area, we want all the industries to be in Kibos and manufacturing. We want to put the manufacturers together, the blacksmiths, the, the, the carpenters, the local manufacturers, the textile, so that we have a serious local special industrial area. You'll see the Juwakali sector being improved and moved to Kibos, so that if you want your car to do body works, you know where to get it. If you want your car to do electrical works, you know where to get it. And if you want your, your car to be improved in a way, you know where to get it. So the city will be planned. And we have a general planning of the city. We have CBD1, where we are, which is the, this post ground triangle. We have CBD2. CBD2 is the CBD2A, CBD2B, CBD2C. CBD2A is the Aga Khan area, the Nyamlori. The traders there will be transferred. Already the IMF will be transferred to Uru Business Market. So that place should be a CBD2, where we have uh, uh, the, another group of hotels and the uh, tourism attraction area. Then we have uh, the, 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 the sports ground, the, the Moi Stadium area. If you go to Ondiek Estate, already there is affordable housing coming at Makasembo. Teleposta is going to do another affordable housing in the Teleposta ground. There is Anderson area. So that will be CBD2B. Uh, it will extend like that to Kisumu Polytechnic and to Mega City, Kachok. That's CBD2B. Then there will be CBD2C, which now will extend to Mamba area, uh, where they will want to create a Kisumu Entertainment Corner. All the restaurants. So we are trying to, we will meet with those fellows, people who are residents who are staying there, to have the change of use from there to restaurants, uh, uh, resting rooms, areas, massage areas, what? So we want a lined up street with an entertainment corner uh, sub uh, that, that will complement the, the area. Then we'll have Dunga area uh, improved. Yeah, and all the seven growth zones, we are going to create CBDs and parks. Riyadh Hills should have their own CBD park, bus stage, and their shopping malls. If you go to Chiga, should have the same. If you go to Kishian, should have the same. If you go to Rabuo, should have the same. So in the next uh, 36 months, you'll see seven growth areas coming up. Mamboleo is also undergoing restructuring. We have a market there, we need a bus stage there, and we need a park, because it's really upcoming. So you see, the, also I've said that, look, um, the SK will have now to transfer to go to agricultural land around Chiga, so that uh, Mamboleo Jomo uh, Kenyatta Stadium becomes a sports complex facility with other amenities. We have a convention center there coming up. We have the stadium there. We need to increase more uh, basketball, all those sports, and uh, sports academy. So that one now, the showground should start thinking. They should start thinking proactively to move 
to move to Kibos, we have land there for them to okay. put there. Yeah. And, and Dorothy said to be upgraded to a city. Kisumu city has uh, shown the, has, has led the way and has achieved it to now what we have right now. Do you have something that uh, you can tell uh, the people of Kericho now that they are planning to upgrade to a city? What do they need to do? To to the city? No, we, we at the council of governors we have the the city managers and the town managers and the municipal managers caucus. Eldoret should be a city by now because there are more than 250,000 population. They have, they have the infrastructure, they have the airport, so it should. And uh, Eldoret is coming up in terms of greening. We are still battling with the traders in the street here and there, which we are also doing. But we, we, we are going to have our own caucus, Nakuru, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Eldoret. And even Nairobi should go ahead and divide itself into boroughs so that they have borough managers, because Nairobi is a city county, but it's, it is rather huge for the governor to coordinate. A population of all of 7, 7 million is, is too much to buy it. So Nairobi should expedite the process of dividing them into boroughs, and then they have the borough managers uh, with the semi-autonomy of those boroughs managing themselves. Then you'll see a lot of improvement. Yeah.